Here's a quick video to walk through the switched on teams feature and also show some tips to help you get the most out of it. Start by tapping create a team, then add your team name and logo, and now you have a team. Next you'll want to invite your team members, so tap invite members, then you can send either a coach or athlete invite link, which you'll see gives them different permissions. Once your members tap on the link, they'll be added to your team and it will look like this. The two main things this team dashboard allows you to do is track stats and assign training sessions. So let's start with the stats tab. At the top, you have your team effort, which is the high level stats for your entire team. You can see how many drills everyone's completed, how much time everyone's trained for, and the assignment completion percentage. If you tap here, you can view these stats for the past 7, 30, or 90 days, or all time. Also below each stat, you can see how it compares to the previous time period. So in this case, our team did 1% more drills this 30 days compared to the last, trained for 12% less time, and completed 3% more of the assigned sessions. Below this you have the leaderboard, which shows these stats for each individual athlete. You could tap any stat name to sort by that stat, which is great for easily identifying your hardest working athletes. A great way to use this data is to reference it during your team training. For example, saying something like, well done Michaela, your hard work during at-home training is really paying off. Now let's go to assignments. To assign a session, tap here. Then you can choose one of your current sessions or create a new one. I'll tap this one here, look over the info and check out all the drills, and since I like it, I'll tap select session. Now you can select the dates that you want to assign it for. So for this one, I'll assign it for every Wednesday this month. Then tap assign session. Now every athlete will have these sessions on their calendar so they can easily complete them. A great way to use this feature is to assign at-home training sessions that focus on your team's weaknesses so you don't have to spend as much time during your team sessions focused on them. Below each session you can see how much progress each team member has made. Then you can scroll on the calendar to see what sessions are in the future or view previous sessions to look at who completed them, which will also be calculated under completion percentage on the stats page. To switch teams or to add a new one, tap here. This is great for if you have an entire organization with multiple different teams. To manage current members on your team, tap here, where you can change member permissions or delete them. Finally, if you tap the settings button, you can do multiple other things like invite new members and learn about how you can save by purchasing in bulk for your entire team. Thanks for watching this walkthrough of Switched On Teams. If you have any questions, I'll leave our email in the video description so you can reach out. Hope you enjoy.